Welcome to Health Medicine News on Medicine Guide. It is found in an article published in businesswire.com slash news on February 12, 2024 that FDA approves Takeda's EOHILIA. Budesonide Oral Suspension. The first and only oral treatment in the U.S. For eosinophilic esophagitis. 12 weeks of treatment with EOHILIA may address significant unmet needs of patients 11 years of age and older. EOE is a chronic disease that can significantly impact patients, with esophageal inflammation and intermittent symptoms of choking and difficult or painful swallowing. Osaka, Japan and Cambridge, Massachusetts, BusinessWire, Takeda, today announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has approved EOHILIA, budesonide oral suspension, the first and only FDA-approved oral therapy for people 11 years and older with eosinophilic esophagitis, EOE. It will be available in 2 mg, 10 ml convenient, single-dose stick packs by the end of February. EOHILIA is a corticosteroid indicated for 12 weeks of treatment in patients 11 years and older with EOE. Developed specifically for EOE, EOHILIA's novel formulation of budesonide confers thixotropic properties, flowing more freely when shaken and returning to a more viscous state when swallowed. Various formulations of corticosteroids have been used in the past to manage EOE, but in an off-label capacity and using multiple delivery options. With EOHILIA, it's gratifying to now have an FDA-approved treatment specifically formulated for a consistent dose delivery with demonstrated ability to address esophageal inflammation and EOE dysphagia symptoms, said Ikuo Hirano, MD, Professor of Medicine and Director of the Kenneth C. Griffin Esophageal Center. As the treatment needs and goals of patients with EOE can vary, I welcome the flexibility that Eohilia offers as an oral medication. The FDA approval of Eohilia 2 mg twice daily is based on efficacy and safety data from two multi-center, randomized, double-blind, parallel group, placebo-controlled 12-week studies, study 1 and study 2, in patients, ages 11 to 56 and 11 to 42, respectively, with EOE. In both studies, Patients received at least one dose of either Eohilia 2 mg twice daily or placebo orally twice daily. Efficacy endpoints included histologic remission, peak eosinophil count of as less than or equal to 6 per high-powered field across all available esophageal levels, and the absolute change from baseline in patient reported dysphagia symptom questionnaire, DSQ, combined score after 12 weeks of treatment. The DSQ measures how often a patient with EOE has trouble swallowing and the behavioral adaptations they subsequently use, as reported directly by patients. For most of us, eating is a simple experience. But for people living with eosinophilic esophagitis, sitting down for a meal can include painful and difficult swallowing, chest pain and a choking sensation, said Brandon Monk, Senior Vice President and Head, U.S. Gastroenterology Business Unit, Takeda. With EOHILIA, patients and their physicians now have the first and only FDA-approved oral treatment option for EOE that was shown during two 12-week clinical studies to reduce esophageal inflammation and improve the ability to swallow. EOE is a chronic, immune-mediated, inflammatory disease localized in the esophagus. Although the exact cause is unknown, it is believed to be triggered by a variety of stimuli including certain foods and environmental allergens. The chronic inflammation of EOE can lead to a range of symptoms, which can vary by person and age, and include difficulty swallowing, vomiting and pain. Identifying EOE can be complex and delayed diagnosis is common among patients. If left untreated, the inflammation of EOE can worsen and narrow the esophagus, which can lead to food impaction when food becomes stuck in the esophagus. In fact, EOE is the leading cause of emergency room visits for food impaction. Takeda is assessing the financial impacts of the approval, including a reversal of impairment loss for intangible assets, on the fiscal year ending on March 31, 2024, but does not anticipate the impact to be material. That's enough for this video. 
If you want to watch more videos like this, please keep watching my channel. Disclaimer. Channel's intention to make this video is for informational purposes only. Consult your doctor or healthcare provider for use of any medicine or for query of any disease. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide of Next Pharmacology of EOHILIA Budesonide.